look at these abandoned gravestones and they they do look abandoned it's just like you know someone once cried here and someone once said goodbye here um, but will anyone ever remember them and uh, you just look around and you can't help but think about the stories you see like a, a Mary or an Elizabeth or a, or a Richard or a, just a, a Jason a, a name but behind that's a life and yeah and you can't help but wonder well what was their story did it make a difference did it outlive them did did it really matter did their 65 years 85 years their 40 years their 11 years did any of it really matter so what makes a life worth remembering no is it just what you do every day is it you're remembered by your friends by your family or is it some act of valor or courage or creation or you know you invent something or you make a difference? What makes a hero? What is it really makes a hero? A hundred years ago, today, the world was at war. The the like that has never been seen or, or had been seen before. Uh, it was the go on that we called the Great War. And uh, in this day, in November 1914, the war was expected to be over. But lo and behold, it was to last for another four years, costing hundreds of thousands of lives. Ordinary men, ordinary women, who in the greatest of atrocities, in the greatest of circumstances, heroes were born. And we'd love to tell you about one now. Harry McNaughton was the heir to the McNaughton estate, which is where I'm standing here now, just outside Bush Mills, between it and the causeway. It's a 550-acre estate, and back in 1914, at the start of the war, would have been one of the wealthiest families. In the estate, there was an employee by the name of Robert Quigg, who was friends with uh, Harry McNaughton. They both enlisted in the 12th Irish Rifles, and find themselves heading off to the war. It was in July, um, through one of the most bloodiest battles of the First World War, that they found themselves uh, advancing against the Germans three times in one day. Harry would have led his troops in uh, advance after advance against the German troops where they were beaten back time after time and would have lost hundreds to uh, the attacks that the Germans had that day. Harry himself would have led the attack, being a, a lieutenant in the 12th Ri Irish Rifles. They were beaten back every time they tried to. He lost hundreds of men. And in the end, he himself went missing. He was, went missing in action. But it was in moments like this that a hero would be born. On discovering that his friend Henry had been lost uh, in no man's land, it was a time when Robert Quigg, who was a friend and employee of Henry and of his family in the Dundrea of his state, he didn't see no man's land as a place where no man would go. He didn't see the bodies, he didn't see the blood and the mayhem and the strewn, uh, just chaos that lay in front of him. He just knew his friend was missing. And so bravely, with no regard to his own care, selflessly, he set out to find his friend Henry. He went into no, no man's land after a fierce day of battle. He felt his way through the bodies. He um, overcome his fear. Like a true hero, he set out. He was determined. As he went forth, he, uh, well, he couldn't find his friend Henry. But that didn't put him off because he found another soldier. He found someone else who needed to be brought home and to be rescued, and, uh, and that's what he did. He brought him back to Cairn, brought him back to safety. 
Now for any man that would be enough. No, that proves you're a hero. That proves that you're brave. But he went out again. With death flying over his head in the form of machine gun fire, he went to find a friend called Henry. But Henry couldn't be found. So instead he found another soldier. Another soldier who'd been wounded in battle. And like any good soldier would, you leave no one behind. So he brought him back to the trenches for safety. And again this would happen. And seven times this would happen. On one of those occasions he would get within yards of the enemy line, the German camp. And on a ground sheet he would drag home a young soldier to safety. See Robert Quigg in that moment would be a real friend. A friend who would lay down his life, if need be, for another friend. He would never find that friend, Henry. Henry sadly would be lost. That day, Henry died. Now Robert would go on to be renowned as a hero. He would receive from George V, he would receive his Victoria Cross. He would also receive from the, the Russian Empire um, their highest award that they could present to someone who wasn't a Russian citizen. But on his arrival home in Bushmills, uh, Lady McNaughton would present Robert with a watch. And she would just thank him that he was prepared to give up everything for her son. See that day on the battlefield, well, Henry McNaughton died, a son died. On that day, on a battlefield, blood was shed. Shed, it was everywhere, body parts and chaos. On that day, well, great love was shown. Because greater love has no man than this. And he would lay down his life for his friends. But there is a greater love. See, who would run? towards no man's land, who would run to a place of certain death that others could live.